Coach Najutsu! Michael B. Jordan, coach, and Naruto. What's up, guys? Today, we're here to talk about this strange collaboration that I am personally very excited for. Let's get into it. All right, so today, guys, we have some really interesting news from High Snobiety regarding Michael B. Jordan, anime, and a Naruto coach collab. So, as you can see on the screen, five hours ago, we got word that Michael B. Jordan has been apparently working with Coach. Now, there's just some absolutely great pictures featured from this article, and I'm gonna go out and say it, there's not a release date for this. I'm just gonna be discussing this article, what we know so far, and maybe some speculation on what we could expect to see. So let's just jump into it. All right, first off, we have this really, really great piece, which is like obviously modeled off of um, Kakashi's uh, shinobi outfit or just the Hidden Leaf Village, um, you know, main war outfit, just what they wear in battle. So really dope ass Konoha leaf right there. He talks a lot about, you know, more in depth in the article, which I suggest you guys all read. It's just literally Michael B. Jordan interview on High Snobiety about when he was designing this collaboration, he wanted subtle anime hits, not to like kind of, you know, hit it over you with the head, so to say, with the, you know, outlandish, like you're not gonna be cosplaying in this stuff basically, but you can see some super nice pockets right here, like very reminiscent of the outfits. But this article, you know, kind of is really good. It goes and talks about how, you know, Dragon Ball is a gateway series for people and how, you know, the story of warriors collecting these items and going on these adventures is really, kind of parallel to like where he feels as an actor and different things like that. Um, kind of how he doesn't see Dragon Ball and anime as necessarily Asian, but that all people can relate to it. So I think that's really great. And he, I don't know, he really goes into detail about um, various things about Naruto and kind of what he wanted with the collab. He talks a lot about symbolism, imagery, using things like the Sharingan, obviously the Konoha leaf right there. It's a really great article. And again, I suggest you guys read it, but we see some hints right here. So the next item we have is this t-shirt. And I'm, you know, I'm not exactly sure, but I don't think they would just put him in a random Naruto graphic tee if this really is coming out soon. Coach X Naruto X Michael B. Jordan. Like that sounds like a fake sentence, but here, we have a really dope Orochimaru and Jiraiya graphic tee. Michael B. Jordan posing for the camera, got some hands-on action. Little Naruto Sharingan. And I will, I have to give it up to High Snobody for this one. They actually do a pretty good job. The guy who wrote this, um, it's, it's solid. Gian De Leon. Gian De Leon. It's kind of a fun name. Gian De Leon. They do a really good job. They don't have any lame oversimplification of naruto it's a solid article so getting more into it again there's a lot to read here so i'm kind of fast forwarding through it he's talking about how his creed character kind of almost has a nine-tailed inner beast inside him which i thought was really cool they talk about harry potter but with ninjas that's pretty great and this. Now I'm expecting this to be probably pretty expensive for most of these items. A jacket like this, made by Coach, with that type of fur, even if it's faux, I'm assuming in like the upper $100, $800, $900. But you know, stuff like this graphic tee, I could see in the, you know, under 100 bucks. So there's definitely gonna be, hopefully, some items in there for everyone, but I really love the way they styled this. It's this um, shoot is shot really well. That's a really weird sentence. This shoot is shot really well, but yeah, anime is something that was a big piece of my childhood, my adult life, and my creativity. It's really great. I really, really enjoyed kind of Michael B. Jordan opening up more about his fandom of anime and kind of what it did to 
you know, inspire him as an actor and, and various things like that. Uh, let's see. This. <sighs> Look at that Itachi piece. So this looks to be like a painted denim jacket. Shout to Rest Destroy on Instagram. That dude does some crazy stuff. But this Itachi piece. Whoo-wee. Very, very dope. Very cool. So I'm just really excited to learn more about this. Um, what are we going to get? How big is the collection? I know it's a small capsule, but he talks about tote bags, um, tees, obviously these jackets, more items. I want it. I want to know more information. He actually goes and talks about his uh, Black Panther character, Killmonger, and how his suit looked just like Vegeta's. So that was really cool. Killmonger, Vegeta. Little sidetrack here and there is okay. Yeah said that that like was definitely intentional so that's super cool so again great article check it out guys and then here we have another one with this a pretty cool i don't know if this is his house or anything but there's like a ship it in framed po uh, picture right there and then i'm trying to see i think he's wearing that same itachi jacket oh my god look at that it's got the kona hall with the slash through it embroidered see this is what he's talking about a super subtle design from Naruto styled onto a coach piece. Like, this is really, really cool, guys. I'm really excited to see more information about this about this collection. Looks like we have some side zippers, maybe? Maybe it's like, um, you know, kind of to get yourself some breathability on the side so you can zip down or layer it and unzip it. That's super interesting. I almost sneezed right there. Thank God I didn't. And yeah, he talks about Genlock a little bit, the Rooster Teeth show, just some placeholder Naruto Sasuke fighting images. And then here we have a better look at that. I think it's the same shirt that he was wearing earlier. That, um, I guess it's the three Sanin shirt. So something like this, just a classic screen print on like a coach tee. Basically you just look at what other coach tees go for. So I don't know right off the bat. Because once I saw this, I was like, I have to make a video over this. Because um, it's just so cool and so interesting. And, and I'm, I just want to get a dialogue going. So if please, guys, in the comments down below, just sound off. I want to hear everything. We have that going. And yeah, so that's super cool. So like I said, you know, probably under $100. Maybe like, you know, 120 at the max. I don't see it being that expensive. I really hope it's not. Just so that everyone can kind of get something. But... Here we freaking go. I mean, are you kidding me? I think he said this piece was inspired by Sasuke's post Orochimaru training outfit. I mean, come on, guys. That. I want this piece so bad. I don't know how I would ever wear something like that. Something like this. Man, I could see this being like two grand, being like $2,000, but. Man, this is just so freaking cool. Modern Ninja. I mean, people over at the... I mean, this isn't even really techwear. I was going to say people over the tech, uh, at the techwear subreddit or techwear clothing would love this. But, man, this is super cool. It's coach, out of nowhere. I think he recently got put on as like a creative director at some level at Coach. So it, it's really neat that they're able to take this you know inspiration of naruto from from jordan and then and put it into a uh, collection that's this sick i mean i mean look at this it's got some straps right there i'm guessing this is two pieces probably some pants not sure if they're these shoes are also with it i would assume so maybe but man that outer freaking i don't even know what you would call that it's like an elongated jacket with like uh, the fur at the top oh man zippers everywhere the snake i think that's a snake print probably orochimaru and then the the uh, fur down there very very dope and again you know long article which i might recommend you all read for like the ninth time and talk about how uh anime live action can be kind of cringe you know dragon ball evolution but alita battle angel very solid and the bleach movie 
that was on Netflix, the Japan live action. Not terrible. Not great, but not terrible. And then here we have, again, I think this is the same piece from up top, the Kakashi uh, jacket with the... I, I'm saying Kakashi even though it is like just the hidden, hidden leaf, you know, battle uniform. I'm saying Kakashi because he specifically referenced it in, earlier in the article. This is really neat. So it's like, I wonder if these are like zip-off sleeves. Because I don't see a zipper though. I'm wondering what that whole thing is. Because that would be cool because you could wear it as just a vest and then also as a jacket. These pockets are really nice. Love the 3D kind of chunky cargo aspect of it. Just to you know, directly correlate with the show. And this looks like a... Could be leather. I don't think it's leather. It might be like a rain jacket type of material. Could be like a... Um, yeah. I'm trying to think. Probably like some kind of a polyester. I don't know. You don't know. But quality looks really nice. You can you can definitely tell they went all out on this just from the fact that you know the embroidering, for instance, is so thick, and all the seams look really really clean. It looks very polished, very like athleisure, but like at the same time like high fashion, like coach. So very neat, like. If Y3 did this, for instance, my favorite high fashion brand, I think it would be a lot more techy. And this is, you know, going a little more, I want to say subdued, a little more casual, which I like. It's dope. Very sick. And that's pretty much it, guys. That's all the information we know about the Michael B. Jordan X Naruto X Coach collaboration I'm just scrolling back up to the top and yeah that's the Sanin shirt in black the Sasuke kind of inspired jacket so we've seen a few items I guess it's more of a coat we've seen a few items we got these vests we got a couple tees but once we figure out more I'll be back with more information I hope you guys enjoyed today's video be sure to like comment and subscribe and it's Thomas from Anime Fashion, signing out. Peace, y'all.